All right, welcome to Cody Codes. Now, if you clicked on this, you're probably wondering, like, is it really possible to make this much money? And the answer, the answer is yes. Like, there's a lot of opportunity in tech, but this one's a little bit more interesting. Usually to get close to $400,000 as just a software engineer, you would have to work at like a fang company, which is like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and there's a bunch of other ones that have been added to this category, but like the best of the best in Silicon Valley. The story I'm about to tell does not include working for one of the fang companies. You do have to be a little insane though. Now, in order to get up to like $386,000 in a mostly cash income situation, you mostly have to be working multiple jobs. Now, there's there's opportunities for people to do their their main job and then do a little bit of moonlighting, but this is this is a step further. And let me go into the story. So, a good friend of mine, he uh, he was working as an engineering manager at a company for many years, and it turned out to be getting kind of boring. So he decided to get back into more of a coding role and he started applying to different jobs. So let's focus on this first job. As an engineering manager, he was making about $172,000 salary with a $17,000 uh, bonus. It's about 10%. So that, that brings his main job, his first job, to $189,200, give or take. Now, he decided to start looking for a new job because he was getting bored, his skills were kind of atrophying a little bit, he wanted to get back into coding. But the second job was contract to hire. Now, if anyone's not familiar with this kind of position, this is where they take you on as a contractor, which is just 1099 uh, cash income. They don't give you benefits, they don't give you pay time off. It's just kind of a trial period for you and the company to make sure that you guys are a good fit before they even bring you on full time or even consider it. So it's contract to hire, that's the intention. The second job that he found and ended up getting the job was six months contract to hire. My friend also has kids, going to college kids. So there's a lot of expenses and he decided to see if he could overlap the jobs. The, 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 the manager job uh, was in a different time zone than the contract to hire job. And also most of his job at the manager job has been delegation, management, checking up things, not very labor intensive. And then the, con the contract to hire position was more hands on the keyboard and getting things done. Now, they overlapped a little bit during the day, but he decided that he's gonna try it for a couple months and see if, uh, and see if he can make this work because he wanted to reduce the risk of doing the contract to hire position, realizing he can't do it, and then losing both jobs, losing the job he just quit and losing the job that he's just trying to work towards. So he decided to keep them going at the same time. Flash forward two or three months into this contract and he was still doing it. And the thing is, is that he was so committed to this, to both of these jobs that the first job actually promoted him to a director of engineering, increasing some stock options, which I'm not including in the, uh, in the total compensation, and also getting wild praise for the contract to hire position. Now, a lot of people may think this is this very, this is very unethical, but in my opinion, in this situation, this, this is okay to me. This seems ethical because he is doing the job of both what job one and job two at the same time and meeting the needs of both of them. And it wasn't like he wasn't working on either job. He was working like a madman during these two or three months. He was working starting at 7 a.m. and then working all the way to 11 p.m. I don't know if any of you have kids in college, but, but getting money for tuition was like one of the biggest motivators. So he overlapped these two jobs. So let's, let's calculate the numbers of these two jobs so, real quickly. So at the first job, the full-time job is bringing about $189,000 and I'm ignoring the stock options that he has. That's, that's just something else that I'm just talking about mostly cash on this job. And then the second job is contract to hire at $85 an hour. Now, if he was to continue this contract for an entire year, he'd be bringing roughly $163,000 a year in this contracting income. So 189,000 
plus $163,000 is bringing him well over $300,000 a year already. Now, here's where things get even more interesting. He has been able to get promoted in his first job, and his second job is getting wild praise and working like crazy, but he still found he had some energy and had some time on the weekends. And an old client of his from his moonlighting days reached out and said, hey, can we get 20 to 25 hours of your time a month on this project for the next year? And he said, yes. That third job is about $34,000 as well. So if we add all these up from job one to job two to job three, he will bring in $386,000 a year in a mostly cash deal. Now, if we consider the stock uh, that he has got, that he is supposed to get in his first job, that puts him well over $400,000 total compensation. Now, a lot of people may be upset at this, at this idea, but there is a lot of risk and you have to have a lot of, <laughs> you have to be a little crazy to even consider this kind of uh, job because these are two high stress jobs that are going in parallel and he is w putting in the time and working on both of them and exceeding all the targets that they are expecting at that salary. So can every anyone do this? Probably not. Would I do this? Absolutely not. I can, I'm not built that way. I can't work 14, 15 hour days because I will flare out in about two or three months. I wanted to bring up the story because I just wanted to bring up the possibilities that uh, are available for the software engineering career. Now, can you make a lot of money doing something like this? Absolutely. Is it crazy? Also, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of risk because you still have to perform at all three jobs and work every single day and have no time for anything else. I haven't seen him for a long time and this has been going on for about a year. So I hope that story is insightful and let me know if you like, you like these kind of stories, how I can break down these stories and break down the possibilities of, pe of how people can make money in software and the, the different opportunities that they can do um, and different paths they can take. So let me know if you if you like this kind of content. I like to, I personally really love these kind of stories because it kind of opens up the the world of what you can do in software. And even even <laughs> even if the stories are absolutely crazy, making insane amounts of like this huge buckets of money every single year, burning themselves out, these are still interesting stories and I love to break them down so that everyone knows uh, how this is actually possible and whether or not it's something that you would even consider yourself. Let me know if you would consider it yourself. I know a lot of people would, but I also know a lot of people that says, no, that's insane, I would never do that. Thanks for watching guys, just go ahead and stick around and I'm gonna have a lot more of these stories that I've kind of gathered over my decade of experience of working in software. And hopefully I'll see you around for the next one. Woo!